How's it going guys? Christian here. Welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the six common mistakes that first time home buyers make. Number one is going to view properties without having a pre-qualification letter. What you're doing is wasting time and gas because you're traveling around not even knowing if you qualify for these homes. There's been multiple times where I meet people at the open houses, they come in, they fall in love with the house, and then they want to go sit with the, the lender. Two things could happen. By the time they get pre-qualified, that home is already pending and sold. Or they can fall in love with the house and then just realize that the house is nowhere in the ballpark as far as price range goes. And a lot of times people are going online to these websites like Zillow and Redfin using the mortgage calculators and what they don't know, those mortgage calculators are set up for conventional buyers. So they have an added 20% down payment already built into that calculator. So the payment that you're seeing there is not for a person that's going to be buying FHA or anything with like a down payment assistance. So they're putting that monthly payment to attract your attention, to have you go or call the agent there. Speaking with the lender doesn't take that much time. You can either meet with a person or just fill out an application online. So take the time, contact a lender, spend 20 to 30 minutes with them and have them give you an exact number what you qualify for. Now, it can be that they qualify you for $700,000, but you're not gonna like the payment on that $700,000. So what you would wanna do is have the lender reverse engineer that. Tell them, hey, I can only afford a payment of $2,200 a month. What they can do from there is reverse engineer it and then give you a different purchase price to stay on. So rather than $600,000 or $700,000, your new purchase price is gonna be somewhere around 400 to $450,000. Second mistake that first time home buyers make is looking for that perfect home, that dream house. You have to look for a house that's gonna have 75% of what you're looking for. The other 25% is gonna be what you put into the house. So those houses that you're looking for, uh, a four bedroom, all big spacious rooms, uh, every room with a bathroom, uh, wooden floors, quartz countertops, brand new cabinets, swimming pool with a slide, all that stuff. If it does exist, it's gonna be at a good price range. So be realistic when you're looking at houses. What I tell people is look at the house, look at the area. If you like it and if you see the potential in the property, take it, jump on it. Mistake number three is when a buyer wants to use the listing agent, the person representing the seller to represent them in order to get that property because they think, hey, it's an easy transaction. And if I'm friendly with the listing agent, hey, they're gonna give me a great deal. And that's where you're wrong. Because what if the home is overpriced? Who is looking out for you? We know that the listing agent is looking out for the seller, but there's no one else looking out for you. So you want a buyer's agent like myself that can help you run comparables in the area and make realistic offer to the price and negotiate for you the best price and terms that best fits you. Also, what happens is that when you're in escrow, in escrow, anything can happen. So there can be repairs that need to be made to the house that you don't like and the seller doesn't want to pay for. And if that situation comes, who do you think that listing agent is gonna side with? They're gonna side with the seller. Mistake number four is checking the home values online. A lot of people are jumping into websites like Zillow and going by what they see as the value of a property either if they want to sell their house or if they want to buy. So they're on Zillow constantly looking at these prices and they want to make the offers that they see on Zillow. And here's one thing, I've been in the business for a few years now and I have yet to see one Zillow agent come into either any of my listings or any other house to appraise it. And the reason why I haven't seen that is because they don't exist. There is no way that a software algorithm is going to be able to appraise that house. In order to be able to appraise the house, they have to visit the house. They got to see the value in the interior, the exterior, and compare those with the most recent sales. And even Zillow in their own website admits that their values are not accurate. And it's something that they would not use or anyone would use as, a, as an appraised value for, for a property. So in comparing the homes, it's real simple. You look at the homes that sold in the last 90 days that are most like in size to the subject property. And then you compare the interior, the exterior. Does it have wooden floors? Does it have the quartz countertops, newer cabinets? Mistake number five that people make is going to a home looking for instant value for that property. Now, if you're looking to get into a home to be able to make a profit out of it in the next year or two, you're making a mistake. Because as we all know, the market changes, 
Nobody knows what the market is going to do. What we do know is that the market works in cycles. So what I am saying again is if you're looking to purchase a home today and then think you're going to make a huge profit in the next two years, then you're buying it for the wrong reasons. You want to buy a home because it's the best thing for you and your family. Don't do it because your parents or your family, your friends are pressuring you to buy a property. Buy when you're ready and do it when it's the best thing for you to do. Mistake number six is feeling like you're rushed. Don't go to every appointment with your agent and think you have to make an offer right away because you're tired of going out every week or every weekend, whatever the case, only make offers on homes you love because you will regret it if you don't. One of the ways you can regret it is that you make the offer on the property, it gets accepted, you spend money on your inspections, you spend money on your appraisal, and this whole time you're not even sure about the house. Once we get into the loan contingency removal, if you were to remove the contingency at that point, around 21 days, you put your deposit at risk where the seller can keep it. So again, be sure you're making offers on only homes that you absolutely love. Don't feel rushed. I know it's one of the biggest investments you'll ever make in your lifetime. So it's really important that you're doing it for the right reasons and you feel it's the right home where you're gonna be able to live there for the next five to seven plus years. All right guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was very informative for you guys. If you guys have any questions or if you're looking for an Inland Empire buyer's or seller's agent, make sure to contact me. My phone number is 909-576-1122. See you guys on the next one.